What's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for another video here in Central North Carolina. Appreciate all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for the thumbs up and the comments on the project lawn. If you haven't checked out those recent videos, go check them out. Um, I am not overseeding or um, aerating or anything like that in my lawn here, um, but we did do that over at my church. It's that why we call it the project lawn. We put down some cool blue, some protein starter fur, some RGS, some tenacity. Uh, so go check out those videos. Thank you for uh, those of you that already have. Uh, be sure and subscribe so you can follow along and see what what does this turn out to, to look like? I have no idea. I'm excited to find out just as much as you guys. So we're trying to have some patience and uh, we'll bring you updates as soon as we have an update worth uh, bringing to you. Whether it's good, bad, or ugly, we're gonna show it to you. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Recently, guys, you uh, we did a video and I talked about the two methods that I have tried uh, at, in fighting Bermuda grass in our cool season lawn of fescue, Kentucky bluegrass, ryegrass. With Bermuda, we're talking about a warm season grass in a cool season lawn. And so uh, the one uh, herbicide or two herbicides that I'd seen pop up to help fight Bermuda in our cool season lawn was Fusilade 2 and was Pilex. Pilex was super expensive, like 300 some bucks. Fusilade over 100 bucks, 150 bucks. So we tried that out in past videos here on my channel. We went over it. We talked about the very details, how powerful it is. Also, we talked about the other option of cutting our grass really short, cutting that Bermuda really short, using weed and grass killer, uh, and planting uh, new seed in that area real thick to help try to choke out and block out the Bermuda grass. That did work successful, successfully for me on my little bank of my little strip over here. But you guys in that last video that we put out talked about a product that I have never come across, never heard about it before. So I began to do some research about it and uh, I've got a bottle here. It's actually right behind me. So uh, let's talk about the product that you recommended and uh, we, we're gonna try it out today. So when we're talking about fighting Bermuda in our cool season lawn, you guys have said, Mr. Ferguson, you need to look at this other product. It's actually a product uh, made by PBI Gordon, which is the same company that makes uh, T-Zone and Speed Zone, which uh, I just applied some Speed Zone not too long ago and it really did a number on the weeds um, that I had um, on the edges of my home. I also sprayed some of Mr. Kevin's ditch. He's got a lot of trash down there and it just torched him. So it's made by that same company and the product you recommended is right here. It's called Ornamic. 170. Now there was another product on uh, domyown.com that you can find. It's called Over the Top. For from domyown.com, they discontinued uh, that product for whatever reason. I don't know if that means you can't find it anywhere, but the replacement was Ornamic 170. I hope I'm saying that right. Grass herbicide. Um, so we're going to pull up the label and kind of read it real fast, but everything I'm reading is excellent. Um, and all I've heard is good things come from you guys. The, um, and, and I can't, I'm terrible at pronouncing things, but the active ingredient, <laughs> there's only 1.70% um, in here. It's called Fluoxifop P butyl. Um, I don't know what that is. Maybe you can see that on there. If I hold it up close to the camera, maybe you can see what that word is right there. Ornamic 170. This was like uh, 41 bucks way cheaper. You could buy three bottles of this before you could get close to Fusilade 2. Um, so um, the I know I can tell you that the amount that you would want to put into a one gallon mix is two ounces. If you're talking about fighting Bermuda in a fescue lawn, two ounces of this per one gallon. Um, that's if you're going to spot spray. So we're going to look at the label for a second, but very excited to get this. We are going to apply this here in just a minute. Um, but before we do that, I want to go to the label and I'm going to stand again to the side so we can put some graphics right here. So here is Ornamic 170 grass herbicide kills unwanted grasses in and around ornamental plants. Um, and I want to skip down. Uh, you got all the safety stuff right here, but if you skip down, uh, here you see on this slide that I'm showing you from the, the label of this product. Uh, on, right there at number two, it says annual and perennial grass control and ornamental tree shrubs and ground covers. You need to be aware there are different rates for different, um, different reasons to use this product. 
we want to skip down to number three and you see they list on the label here specifically bermuda control in zoysia grass and tall fescue and it says use or ornamic 170 grass herbicide to suppress and eventually control some undesirable grasses and turf areas to control common bermuda grass and hybrid bermuda grass follow the directions below note the application of this product may show slight discolorization to the desirable turf grass symptoms are temporary and discolorization will subside do not apply to tall fescue turf unless injury can be tolerated weather and cultural treatments can affect the applications so it tells you right here number one it may discolor it don't worry you should come back that is absolutely the case with fusillade 2 however it didn't come back um we see here that it also says if your grass is not able to take the damage of the herbicide, meaning if you're dealing with fungus right now, probably not a good idea to lay down a herbicide and injure it even more. If you're drought riddled, see today we've got a lot of rain last night. We got an inch of rain almost last night. My grass is in the best shape it's looked in a while as far as the drought. We got rain last night, so it is healthy. It's doing well right now. It's a great time for me to apply it. It's also cooler outside than it's been the past week. So you want to make sure the conditions are right uh, that's what it's saying there then if we go down to 3.2 on the label here bermuda grass control and tall fescue specifically what we're trying to do that's the main reason i'm using this product is targeting the bermuda grass so it specifically says make applications in spring and fall again don't do it in the summer don't do it in the winter time it says spring and fall start applications after green up take care Take care with applications to fall, tall fescue during the summer months, July and August. Repeat 14 to 21 day intervals if regrowth occurs. Complete control may take one to two growing seasons. That's what you guys were telling me in the comments. So it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. We wanna apply this. If I have time, if we're not dipping down really cold, I may get another application of this product in a second time after 14 to 21 days to try to hurt it even more. Um, but we don't want to, um, we don't want to do it when it's really hot. Now, just because it says July and August doesn't mean in September we can't have a 90 degree week, a 95 degree day. Uh, we may hit, hit some more 90s here soon and I will lay off of it for a while because I don't want, that's the last thing I want at this point of September in my lawn is to kill off some grass because I'm applying a herbicide when it's hot outside. Um, and also when it's really drought ridden, that puts stress on it, a herbicide is gonna stress it more. So be careful, be careful, even though it says, but it says here, as you see the little chart, uh, one gallon, we're gonna put two fluid ounces and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mix up one full gallon of water, throw in two ounces, shake it up, and we're gonna spot spray mainly the right side of my lawn where I've seen Bermuda. And we'll show you that Bermuda here in a second. Uh, below the chart, it says allow time up to 24 hours for this product to be absorbed and translocated before mowing the treated area. Wait 14 days before reseeding treated areas of tall fescue 14 days if you plan to use this product and then seed you got to wait two weeks so you may want to wait wait until next spring wait until later on in the fall it does say fall time uh, the problem is um, that that bermuda is going to begin to brown up a little bit it's going to be more difficult to locate maybe the brown may actually help it to stand out and be easier um, but i want to hit it while it just said in the beginning of this um take care with application. It said start applications after green up. So it is green right now. And I want to hit it right now while the Bermuda is green and actively gold grasses. I think this is going to be an awesome product to try out. Um, especially if it works and you guys says, uh, say that so far it's worked for you. So I'm interested to try it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to grab the backpack sprayer. We're going to put two fluid ounces of this and one gallon of water, mix it up and just a spot spray and hopefully I can hold the camera and spray at the same time. But before we mix it up and go at it, let me show you what we're gonna be spraying. My phone is acting weird. Uh, I don't know why we're having problems, but everything I just recorded got erased. So let's do take two here. So real fast, let me just show you before the sun, the heat, I don't know why my phone's cutting off, but quickly, I just wanted to show you what we are spraying. Um, it kind of begins right here in this nasty section. You see we're a little brown over here, but um, I was showing on the first take, you know, this is where we can find uh, some of the Bermuda in here mixed in the fescue, like right here, you really see it you know, you see the brown tips already. Now we're having cooler mornings. So I expect this to begin to kind of start turning a little brown, kind of like this guy over here. You see how it's brown already. 
uh, if I get in there the best I can. But like right here, perfect example. You see how uh, this is just like a cluster of Bermuda and a little bit of fescue sticking out like the middle of it, but it's like Bermuda warm season grass. Now, somebody had mentioned this could be nimble weed. Could it be nimble weed? Absolutely, it could be. I may be misidentifying this. It's possible. Basically from this bush right here, going forward just to the right of this post we're going to spray this right side section and basically do a spot spray so we may not spray at all and it's and it's kind of difficult looking down to see where is is that bermuda entangled in here and uh where is it not uh, it's difficult i almost want a blanket spray but i'm not going to do that the first go around i'm just going to kind of walk it like this with you guys and we're going to spot spray where we see for sure some bermuda and just take my time not in a rush we don't have to spray and walk really fast there is a little bit of common bermuda in my neighbor's lawn over there and i was showing in the first section that everywhere we did the fusillet too right here I've, I, I just showed in that first video, uh, we've got Bermuda here as well. And I was showing like this right here. Look right here, guys. We got some type of weed coming up here and we got little Bermuda um, um, popping up right here. Everywhere where we did fusillade to try to eradicate it. You see it right there? It's just right there in the, uh, in the fescue. So it's like we kind of wasted our time killing that off on accident and uh and we didn't really get rid of the bermuda it's still existing so hopefully this um uh, what is it or ornament 170 i think that's what it's called will be the long haul we'll, 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 and on the bank too obviously we got a uh, we got bermuda on the bank too but hopefully this will help us go the distance this is the section we're going to hit mainly this section right here uh, the color's looking good, by the way. It's about time to fertilize, but I'm holding off as long as I can uh, before putting down that HCU. But anyways, another topic for another day, but just, man, just see, this just don't look good. And I hate to discolor it and spray it, but I think we need to just go ahead and do it. So we're going to spot treat it. We're not going to spray exactly every inch. I may do a whole line down and spot spray from there, but that's the goal. So let's do the deed. Let's put some herbicide on the ground. All right, guys, so we've already uh, went and put the one gallon, if you can't see it, maybe the bottle's in the way. We've got one gallon of water already in the tank. This is a little four ounce container. Uh, if you don't have these and you're spraying, man, it's very helpful. Um, I used to just guess, oh, that's two ounces, and, um, and, and that's not the way to do it. So we're going, uh, because remember, this discolors your lawn. It will come back, but uh, we don't wanna go over um, if anything, I'd rather be under, but I want to go exactly right around two ounces, which is right there. I've already taken the... Now, I, let me tell you that this herbicide has a strong odor. Don't open it up inside. Um, it's got a strong odor. Make sure you wear gloves, uh, which I already have. I'm just going to do the old-fashioned shake method. So I'm going to stick this down in there, pour that in. Well, let's do it this way. We're just going to do the old-fashioned shake and mix. Um, there we go. So... Again, we're spot spraying, we're not blanket spraying. For that reason, I have the, I believe this comes with the Flowzone uh, backpack sprayers, I'm not sure, but this tip is the kind where you twist and you can adjust it from a circle size spray to a fine spray, almost like if you're gonna pressure wash your house. Um, that's what I like to do when I spot spray, uh, because yes, I could use my typical peat nozzle, this red one, which does like a three foot wide spray, but we're talking about everywhere this stuff lands, it can discolor our grass. I wanna limit that in my fescue and really only hit the fescue around where the Bermuda is. That's why we gotta take our time and spot spray. So we've got it in here. Basically I'm gonna do now, and I'm just gonna do a good old fashioned shake. So one gallon, two ounces, we're good to go. Uh, we're going to set it on our low setting for a spot spray uh, with our flow zone backpack typhoon here and we're just going to again walk that area we just showed i'll hold the camera we'll kind of show you just pss, hit it and roll mentioned before right around this bush over here um i'm, I'm literally going to walk right here and take my time and just look and see where i can tell if i see bermuda that's where i want to spot spray um there's no rush here now when i'm doing like my rgs and i'm walking like that looks like some right there there we go um that's all i'm doing there um you know we're trying to empty a certain amount it's different um it looks like we got a little bit of kalinga right here i don't know if it treats that but we're going to shoot it anyway just to try it 
Um, there's some right there. And let's go up the hill and see what I see here. This is the part I may just have to do this entire side of the bank. I don't want to, but I see a lot right here in front of me. And it's got a strong smell, as I mentioned. So I'm going to back up here. We've got some stuff right here as well. Some like weird looking weeds right here. I don't know if it will hit that and kill it, but we'll try it. Now we're kind of going a little bit to the left now, and I see some all up right here. So everywhere I'm seeing it, I'm trying to hit it. Again, we don't want to go too heavy, but we don't want to go too light to where we're wasting our money or our product. Most of it looks like it's turning brown. Like you see all these brown dots? Let me move the camera. There we go. Um, you see the brown dots. It's almost like the cooler weather has already started to... Uh, to, to nip at it a little bit. Some of you lawn care nuts like me um, may find this interesting, but I'm just basically trying to limit. I want to blanket spray it. It'd be much easier, uh, but I'm not. Uh, the risk that we run is we could miss some, and there's a whole strand that goes wild, right? So uh, this may be, and I don't know what that is, but I'm going to spray it because it may control that as well. Uh, it looks like some fat blades of Dallas grass. Um, so as you see, my lawn is still stressed out from summer. Um, it is still not in a position where it's looking mighty, uh, mighty healthy. There's a lot of it through here, a whole lot of it. So I'm going to continue on with this. I just wanted to at least show you a little bit of, um, how I apply it. Let me know how you're applying it in your lawn. All right. So we've spot sprayed all of that. We'll come back. We'll give you an update on that, but we'll do kind of like an area where we can come back and check to kind of, you know, it's hard to know where exactly was the Bermuda. Was there any here? I know for a fact over here by my mailbox, this may be easier to watch. Now my neighbor does not have Bermuda, so I'm not killing his lawn or anything, but we've got some Bermuda right in this section. And you can see it's about what, two feet to the right of my mailbox. You see this patch right here. He wants me to, to mow this. So this will be our little quote plot area. So I'm gonna hit it really good right here. All of this that's kind of creeped over and again, he don't have Bermuda, so we're not, you know, we're not killing his lawn. We're just going to do a test right here. So um, we'll see how it works. And there's not a lot of strong fescue here. So uh, I'm not sure how exactly or what exactly this will do. Uh, so I hope that it's not going to act like fusillator. I may have made a mistake. I hope you guys are right and uh, everything you're saying is true because I'm trusting you. But this will be our test plot. And again, you see it's about... A foot and a half, two feet to the right. We've sprayed all of this Bermuda right here, and it's definitely Bermuda grass. It's just taller because uh, I cut tall. Uh, it's it's just taken over, and all that fescue got trampled and is gone from the lack of rain and everything else. So this will kind of be our. Now I've applied way more than I did other areas, so we got to factor that in too. So thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you. Click subscribe. Click click like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're interested in seeing the results. Um, we are spraying today, but we will be coming back um, to show you what happened. Um, and this is kind of the aftermath that you're seeing from green shoots and where I came and killed off a bunch of crabgrass. I'm looking to see if I see anything else we can try. You know, we'll, we'll spray some of this, it's for ornamental. Um, but here's like, here's a big patch of Bermuda, like right here. We'll spray some of this stuff and see what happens. Um, but anyways, guys, click like if you enjoyed the video and uh, come back and check out the results And uh, from Central North Carolina. Thank you guys so much. Hope you have a fantastic Monday, and we will see you on the next lawn care video from Central North Carolina. God bless you.